Um, we're going to be talking about wisdom today in our family devotion time. So if you want to grab your Bibles, we are going to be in Proverbs chapter 2 today. And we're going to talk a little bit about Solomon and his wisdom. So wisdom, if you want to think about the definition, is things like experience and knowledge and making good decisions. That's what gives us wisdom. So who do you think of as a wise person? You know, maybe your mom is very wise or a teacher. Um, there are lots of people in the Bible who give us wisdom. And so Solomon was seen as one of the wise kings. So King Solomon was David's son. He was the third king of Israel. Solomon was known for being wiser than any other person. Solomon wrote words to help people know how to be wise. Many of these are written as a father teaching his son about wise choices. These are some of his words. So we're going to be in, in Proverbs chapter 2, and we're going to read through a few of his Proverbs, verses 1 through 10. It says, My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. All right, so there's a few commands in here that Solomon is writing down as a father to his son. He says things like, listen closely to those who teach you. Look for wisdom and knowledge. Search for it like you would a hidden treasure and then you will understand more about God and how to trust Him. It says, learn about God and learn from God that He can make people wise. He can help you know the right things to do and He will help you understand them. God can help people to be wise. He protects those who do the right things and He guards those who follow Him. You can learn and understand what is right and fair. Your mind will be wise and your heart will be happy. So this lets us know that wisdom is available to all of the followers of Jesus. So we can um, make wise choices. So think about some things that we have in our lives that we make choices about. So maybe whether to have a donut for a snack or whether to have an apple. So the donut and the apple may both taste good, but sometimes we want that sugary sweetness of a donut when an apple would be a wiser choice for our health. Um, so there's lots of choices we're gonna make in our lives. Um, so we can ask God for the wisdom to make the right choices. So what's something that would be an example of a bad choice? Maybe mom says, all right, it's time to go clean your room. And you go in your room and you look around and you just decide to sit down and start playing with something in your room. So maybe that's, an example of a not so wise choice because it's going to end up making your family upset that you didn't follow directions. It's going to end up making it harder for you to have fun in your room when things just keep getting out and not getting put away correctly. You might lose some of your toys or something might get broken if it's left out. So when we make unwise choices, bad things can happen. All right, so you can sit and talk with your families about good choices and bad choices and how those can affect you and your family and your life. And then you can pray for God to give you the wisdom to make better choices. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoy. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.